All right, calling all people who don't want to do high intensity workouts or spend an hour on the treadmill every day. Zara is here with a solution. <laughs> The solution is the Lazy Girl's Guide to Fitness. We want to be a little bit chill. How do we begin if we want to, you know, not get up there and be like doing high knees for an hour? Exactly. So I call it the Lazy Girl Guide. But the idea is that not everybody has to love fitness. You don't have to be like super eager to get into, like you said, those high intensity workouts, sweat for hours. Just know that exercise and activity is for anybody. You can do it at any age level, like at any age, at any fitness level. Yeah. Just get moving and do what you enjoy most. Because if it's not what you enjoy, you're, you're not going to do, do it, it exactly. right? Yeah. So let's talk about things that can uh, start getting uh, the lazy girls moving along a little bit. Yeah, for sure. So the idea is, again, like I said, don't worry about going to the gym, doing the hottest trends. It doesn't matter. Whatever you see on Instagram and you're like, do I have to do those jumping yeah. burby push-up, I don't know, backflip? <laughs> no, you don't, right? Yeah. Just do what works for you. So start off nice and slow. Something as simple as walking, going for a hike. Yes. If you like bike riding, go on a long bike ride. It doesn't have to be those intense things. If you like swimming, Put on some music, dance for a few minutes. Just get your body moving. That's the most important thing. You have sort of like three tips you want to give yeah. us before we get started. Yeah, exactly. So start slow, like I said. Yep. Just start with something that you enjoy that you'll come back to. Tip number two is it's okay to distract yourself. So if you've got a treadmill oh, like or a bike that. that's been sitting... Just take the clothes off, turn on your favorite <laughs> show, Netflix, YouTube, whatever it is, and just get those kilometers in. It's totally yeah. fine to just go slow pace. You're moving, which is so much better than just sitting on the couch, right? So you're still getting to watch your shows. You're still getting to go for a walk, listen to your favorite podcast, listen to your favorite audiobook. So that way you're kind of distracting yourself. You're getting that activity in, but you're also yeah. doing something you enjoy as well. Oh, I'm big on the distraction. Yeah, for Oprah's sure. the one that got me running. So oh, I'd watch the awesome. Oprah show, yeah. and during the commercial breaks, I would run, and oh, I would I walk that. the rest of the way, yeah. and run again and walk, and then soon I was running as much as I was walking and I then I was that. running the whole hour That's so amazing. distract 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 exactly and see so you found something that worked for you yes. something that you would keep coming back to it was Absolutely. Oprah Oprah got you on the bike or the treadmill Oprah did right it. exactly yep. she's amazing and also the last thing is don't underestimate the mini workouts you're doing throughout the day or the yes. mini movements right yes. so you're brushing your teeth and you think oh if I do five squats here is that really going to make a difference yes it yeah, actually it is it does yeah. those little things you're doing throughout the day are really going to add up it's something called neat so it's non uh, exercise activity thermogenesis and the ooh. idea ooh, very fancy but it's like okay you know you put your watch on you see how many calories you're burning in that 30 minutes okay that's great but again don't underestimate those five minutes here 10 minutes yes. there parking a little bit further from the grocery store and walking that little two minute walk is going to make a huge difference yep. all those things add up if you're talking on the phone instead of just sitting get up walk around if you're mm. helping your kids with their homework now they're back in school stretch a little bit all those little things really really do add up they so do all not, yeah. count they all exactly. count even sure. aggressive laundry folding exactly. and delivery <laughs> like when I've gone up the stairs three times to deliver the clothing exactly. I'm it shoving them up. into drawers and I'm sweating <laughs> this is a workout it is you're getting I your put it up. on yeah I put there should be a laundry aggressive on my, laundry yeah. <laughs> aggressive laundry okay I let's talk that. about a few movements we can start uh doing to get our bodies yeah, moving yeah so you're watching your favorite netflix show yeah. you've got your you know you've got your we're watching city line we're watching city line yeah. exactly so we're just going to start off with side steps so just something okay. that you can do nice and light if you've got your screen there don't worry you're not missing tracy okay. on city yeah, line don't worry so you're going side to side and anything you're doing you can set your timer for 30 seconds or you can do about 15 to 20 reps because we're going light intensity then we're going into a squat so just sitting back and back up. Look at her on the, in the heels. I love it. <laughs> My so trainer up and down. Not. <laughs> I know. That's okay. That's okay. For a the few glutes minutes, are good. feeling it. Yep. And you're working your glutes, your quads, your core. Perfect. And then we're going to come down to the mat or the carpet. Okay. You don't need a mat. So we're going to come on our hands under, and then we're just going to kick out and back in. So you bring your knee in, work the uh, work the abs, and kick out. Work the glutes in and out. You can Beautiful. still watch TV. Exactly. You can still look at, well, you can't really scroll Instagram, but yeah. you can, oh, you, you know. can. I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to do the other side. Okay. We'll go for four, three, two more. Ooh, this is feeling very Jane Fonda. Yeah. Like that. Well, you want Jane Fonda. Let's come to our sides. Okay. There you go. Yeah, baby. Up and down. <laughs> hey, man, you're moving your body. You're working. You can be petting the dog. Yeah. You can be reading a book. <laughs> you can be... Doing your taxes. Exactly. Just joking. I made that very not as fun long all of a as sudden. I know. That's so not up fun. and down, and then make sure you get the other side as well. And then yep. we're going to end off with a great core exercise, which is dead bug. So you're lying back, hands are up, and then you're just going to go opposite arm, opposite leg out, and back up. So I'd say this one takes the most coordination. Yeah. But again, you're lying on your back. You don't need to be jumping up and down nope. and you know doing all the intense moves. Just a few simple moves like this can make a huge difference. Sarah, thank you for that. 